Today we are making another crumble copycat cookie recipe. We are doing a little vanilla and a little chocolate today and we're making the chocolate cupcake cookie. What is up you guys, it is Carly here and you're officially cooking with Carly. Today we're making the chocolate cupcake cookie and let me tell you exactly what this cookie is. We have a nice warm sugar cookie base and then it's topped with a swirl of the richest, chocolatiest, most fudgy chocolate frosting ever. And then we have some chocolate sprinkles that go on top of that. And it's served nice and warm, just like you would want a cupcake. So for the sugar cookie base, it's really simple ingredients. All we have here is just some butter. This is just salted butter. We've got granulated sugar, vanilla, some eggs, all-purpose flour, and some baking soda. That's all we need for the sugar cookie base. To start out, we're going to cream our butter and sugar together. And then I will add the granulated sugar and we'll mix it together. If you want all of the specific ingredient amounts and recipe, recipe, <laughs> if you want all of the specific ingredient amounts and instructions, head to the description below. There's a link that will take you to my website, right to the blog post that tells you all about this, this cookie and you can hit the jump to recipe button at the top. It'll take you to the bottom. There's a printable recipe card there for you to make your life easier. And that is where you'll find all of the specifics for this recipe. Sugar's going in. We're going to mix this until it's light and fluffy. I'm just gonna quickly scrape the sides of my bowl here and then we will add in our eggs and vanilla. Scraping the side just ensures that everything gets mixed together and incorporated equally. Now I'm going to add in the eggs and vanilla. And we will mix this together again. Now that that's all mixed together, let's add in our flour and baking powder. And this is just all purpose flour. I'm just going to mix this together, starting slowly so the flour doesn't explode everywhere. And then our cookie dough will be done. All right, these cookies are ready to be scooped out and then put in the oven. I'm gonna grab my cookie sheets and meet you back here. Before we get going scooping these out, do me a favor and like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget that notification bell because I am coming out with a brand new Crumble Copycat cookie recipe every single week and you don't wanna miss any of them. And if you have any special requests, put them in the comments below. I am going to use my one third of a cup measuring cup to scoop out these sugar cookie dough balls. So we're just going to scoop it out, roll it into a ball here, and then flatten it. These will spread and flatten slightly, just like the teeniest bit, not a ton. So you're going to want them to look like a hockey puck, kind of. <laughs> the cookies are ready for the oven. These are headed into a 350 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes, you'll know that it's time for them to come out of the oven when they've spread slightly and then the center of the cookie is not going to look wet and glossy anymore. It'll look like it's dry and baked. So that's when you'll pull them out of the oven and we will let them cool while we make our fudge frosting. Those sugar cookies just came out of the oven. They're cooling on the warm cookie sheet. So now it's time to make this fudge frosting. There is a secret ingredient in here. There is a little bit of cream cheese, and just by tasting the frosting, you'd have no idea that there was actually cream cheese in it, but it just makes this frosting extra rich and extra fudgy. So we're going to start out by creaming together butter and cream cheese until it's all mixed together and nice and smooth. So just like the sugar cookie recipe, the recipe for this frosting is also in that link in the description below. We're going to mix these together until everything is nice and combined. We're 
We're going to add in the powdered sugar one cup at a time, mixing until it's all nice and combined before adding the another cup of powdered sugar. Trust the process though, don't add any liquid. It will combine great, I promise. So all of the cream cheese has been incorporated here. It's nice and smooth. So now, whoa. Now I'm going to add in the cocoa powder and then we will change the you know thickness or thinness of the frosting with a little bit of milk after the cocoa is mixed in. Now this frosting is going to be piped, so we need it thin enough to pipe and press out of a piping bag, but you know thick enough that it will keep its shape. So slowly, like one teaspoon at a time, add a little bit of milk until we get a good consistency. A good consistency is like a soft serve ice cream, you know, so it flows nice, but it will also hold its shape. I'm gonna scrape the sides quickly just to make sure everything is nice and combined as it should be. Give it another quick buzz and then we will frost these cookies. All right, the frosting is done. It's nice and smooth. So it's time to put it in our piping bag and then we'll frost the cookies. So I have a piping bag ready here. It has a closed star tip and that is the tip you will want to replicate what the crumble cookie actually looks like. These cookies smell so good. My kitchen just has the aroma of sugar cookies. I wish you could smell it. So these cookies are nice and warm still and I'm just going to pipe the frosting on. How we're going to pipe this is we're going to start in the center of the cookie and then swirl outwards and we're going to get like a rose looking frosting and then we will top it with some chocolate sprinkles. We'll add some sprinkles on top and that cookie is complete. And that is how you make Crumbles chocolate cupcake cookie. That nice warm sugar cookie with the fudge frosting is delicious. You've got to give this one a try. Okay, taste test. Mmm. It reminds me of like yellow cake with chocolate frosting, which is really good. Mm -hmm -hmm. That's good. That's a wrap, folks.